Download our mobile application from Play Store and get case studies and free content. Link in the description below. Okay, welcome friends. Today we will see SSD data recovery. SSD is starting our online training. So we are starting the SSD data recovery training for the physicals and basic firmware. So the first stage is Okay, SSD में normally three problems are there. One is a PCB related problems. That is, if you are have a problem in PCB, that is a short open or close, you can repair with the help of soldering and all those things. Second is type is firmware related issues, and third is a logical. Logical you can do basic if it is stream is not on. Logical and physical three options are there. So today's we have a step by step course, but till now we have started the physical. That is, you can do the PCB related issues. So PCB, what, how to do that you can see. So this is your PCB related issues. So today we will show in the case studies about the one hard disk, how we are solving the problems and what are the basic components. If you want to learn all the topics about the electronics and uh, components, identify and bug controller and all those things, then you have to take an online course. This is only for the one case, how we repair the fault finding about the one hard disk. So that is an one customer's hard disk uh, SSD come. So we have to recover that hard disk. We will show in this case studies about how to recover, how to repair the fault and how we recover the data. So that we will show you in this case. If you want to learn the complete SSD from uh, physical recovery, physical repair then you have to learn the course in that we have a electronics electronics first second uh, component understanding the schematic diagram what, how it's work what is an nnc how many power controller that then we will show you three four case studies so that is three different portions so this is your three different courses so that we will show you at explaining okay so just now we will see one uh, hard disk that is come from the customers that is an A data hard disk. So this is customer hard disk come for the data recovery. You can check this hard disk come from the one uh, customer from uh, out of city Ahmedabad. So he has one case about this case. So first of all I will show you the flow chart about how the power, power on of triggering is there. So first we will show you step by step. So whenever the SSD come to you for data recovery, first we have to found it is short, open or close. I will show you the flow chart after this that you will understand what we have to do. So first of all, we will check these connectors that it is short, open or close. In that connector, we will identify it is short, open or close. So how to identify? We have make one small box that is an ampere meter to the SMPS connector. We have an SMPS connector here. We have this SMPS connector here. We make this SMPS especially for SSD pen drive and memory card or hard disk testing. We are making this SMPS. So this SMPS we have connected with the SMPS and we have an SMPS tester. This is SMPS tester that is needed. This SMPS tester is to start the SMPS without connecting, without sorting the pin. So you require this SMPS tester to test. Okay, so this is your SMPS. We have connected SMPS cable here. We have connected SMPS cable and we have connected this. We have made this device with the, it is a simple ampere meter. We have made for 5 watt and 12 watt. But in SSD, it is required only 5 watt and in some cases, it requires 12 watt also. But this we have make a connector about the 5 watt. You can see this is a 5 watt. Okay, so this is your 5 watt connection. So 5 watt we are connecting here. This is your ampere meter, small ampere meter and this is power supply. When we power on, see when we switch the SMPS, we are switching the SMPS here. When we power on SMPS start, this light is blink, means all the 5 watt, 12 watt is coming. Okay, and this ampere meter will show here. So when it starts, the light on and ampere meter starts. So first of all, the first case we will check through the ampere meter, how much SSD take the ampere that we have to show you. So this is your ampere meter. 
when we connect see we remove the 12 watt because 12 watt is no need so we are disconnected 12 watt and we connect with only 5 watt in ssd if another hard disk we require that uh, 12 watt also in a uh, desktop hard disk but in laptop and ssd only 5 watt required laptop also no required ssd also not required so when the customers uh, at ssd come we will connect with this and we will check this ampere meter okay so when we connect this with the ampere meter it will show the ampere consumption how many it consumes you can see it's consume more ampere it is 1.55 it's very high so there may be some shorting inside that's why it's taking lot ampere uh, ampere high there is some uh, uh, malfunction in power supply when we see the working pcb this is your working PCB. If we connect the working PCB, it uh, consume very less ampere. You can see 0 0.09 ampere. Okay, 0.12 or 0.90. So he, this is okay SM, SSD. We buy some donor uh, donor. This we buy donor from the market because if any small components not found, we buy the donor. So this is one donor we purchase. This is another donor purchase, and this one more donor we have purchased. But mainly we have to match these components year. If the same year or nearby year, then the same components are there. I will show you what is the difference in this. So we have purchased one donor. It come only with the one chip and there is another chip. I will show you. So first of all, how to find out the sorting that we have to find. When this is new brand uh, branded uh, WD, if we connect here also, you can check it's also consume 0.06. It means up to 12. Or 1315 it will be consumes this we have to check how many mps it's cost so this is your first stage so to identify there is a shorting or not you can find it with this another power supply you can use the laptop power supply also so laptop power supply also you can find it out sorting is there or not so this is your laptop power supply hmm? here also we can connect smps here and we can found uh, a sorting components here also We can find it out here sorting here. So here when we connect here, it's showing also see 4 ampere its consumption. Uh, 2.0. Whatever the consumption, it will show you me high consumption. Okay. Starting it's giving high, then it's become a low. So here are these also. If you have a laptop power supply unit, you can check these also. Okay. So this is your normal consumption. When we open this. When we open like this, so we will open it and we will check from inside and I will show next video about how to trace the voltage. Achha, next thing, we can see the multimeter also about testing about uh, multimeter also. We can find it without, uh, if you don't have a power supply, you can check with the multimeter, the continuity also. So here we put the multimeter probe. Hmm, we probe here the multimeter probe. And we will check one put uh, black on the ground anywhere ground so you can put here also no problem and we will check the continuity so we can put this is your buzzer mode so we will put uh, this in a black in a ground so if you don't know the ground we will put here is the fourth pin is a ground and the fifth pin is like this so you can find it out normally when finding the sorting the black red probe is on the ground that we are putting a red probe on the ground and fifth on here and we will see any shorting is there or not like this so this is showing shorting and when we put in another okay uh, conditions it will show me the value 300 to 700 so this is the first stage where we put the values like this. So this is your first. Now we will open the case. So we have to require the opener. So we will open it. We will open it. We open from one side. There may be a center screw. So we just open from one side. And then we remove the 
inside SSD. We will remove the SSD outside from here. Okay, like this. So this is only required to remove the SSD. So this is a SSD with having a problem. So we buy one more SSD, same thing. So we buy one SSD here and it come with the two one single chip and two chip like that. There we have buy some more SSD also for donor patient. The same we have buy, see same matching criteria we buy. When we don't need, uh, if we don't have a resistor or capacitor, we buy same donor. Then we check this if they, whatever the damage we can found, I will show you the DSLR. Uh, heating temperature in that also you will see these connections okay so this is your sorting components this is damage here voltage is more consumption so we will replace from the working so i will show you on the next video about uh, how to find the fault which component is short when we see in the with the multimeter here when we put a ground here this is a multimeter so when we put a ground here and check here so here the capacitors are showing short one capacitor short see here 17 here 00, zero. So this is your short this capacitor also short and here the pi watt also showing short values but in a okay it will be so 300 to 500 so we have to find which component is short so we have bring this donor also we have a donor if you don't have donor no problem you can find it sorting with these things i found this component is short due to this transistor the voltage consumption i have shown i will explain you about the work controller what is the work of one two and three component with three coils all the three coils are there so in the next chapter i will show you the theory some basic theory if you want to learn more deep you have to attend the online sessions I will explain you about the concepts. So this is your PCB. Okay. The so next sections we will see on another video. Okay. Install from Play Store now.